Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you about what is breadboard, why we are using breadboard and how we can connect resistor in series and parallel on the breadboard. I can also show you how we can measure the resistance of the resistor using multimeter and I can also verify the total resistance of the resistor connected in series and parallel both in practical and theoretical way. I can also verify the Ohm's law and many other things. So just start the lesson. This is the picture of breadboard. The upper two upper horizontal column and the lower horizontal column is used for ground. These holes are connected in series with each other and it is used for grounding the circuit. And between these two horizontal lines there is a vertical lines. These holes in the vertical lines are also connected to series with each other and these lines are used for series connection and when we connect these two lines with the help of resistor then it will is these lines are used for series connection and when we want to connect the resistor in the parallel then we use these two lines so we can easily connect the resistor in the parallel connection now i am going to show you how we can connect a resistor in series on the breadboard these are the two resistor which we have connected in series we can take a vertical line and we can use one of uh, the whole of the vertical line and we put the first end of the resistor in it and the second end of the resistor we will put in a in another vertical line and we uh, and in the second vertical line we can use the second hole to connect the second resistor which we want to connect in series with it so in this way we can easily connect a two resistor in series now I am going to measure each one of the resistance with the help of multimeter and verify the resultant of the total resistance to the theoretical value as I will show you an example of it. To measure the resistance of the resistor we need a digital device this is called digital multimeter which can use various parameters of the electrical circuit like it measures DC voltage, resistor, AC voltage, current and current above the 10 ampere and many more other things. It contains two props one is of black color and other is of red color. Black prop will put at the common jack and the red probe will put in the voltage O milliampere uh, socket. Now this indication uh, line is put on the off state. If we want to measure the resistance of the resistor then we have to put this knob in the range of 200 ohm to 2000 kilo ohm range. So we can going to put this probe in this range. Here it is showing one. As, as these two probes are far more away from each other. So uh, in this region there is a air and air have a high resistance. There, that's why it is showing one. If we connected these two then it is showing almost zero 
because there is a no resistance between it to measure the resistance of any of the resistor first of all you have to put this indication to lowest range of the resistor that is 200 ohm then by using red and black probe you are going to touch the starting and the ending end of the resistor and by it we can measure the resistance of the resistor very easily as I have connected these two props to the resistor ends and put this knob at 200 ohm but it is showing 1 because the value of the resistor would be higher than the 200 ohm so we can just put the knob to other range that is 2000 ohm now put this knob to 2000 ohm we again we get one so in this case the resistor will be higher range than 2000 ohm so we can put in 20 kilo ohm now it is showing the value that the resistor have 9.91 kilo ohm of the resistance in similar way we have measured the resistance of other resistor which is connected with series with the first resistor and the resistance of that resistor is 98.3 kilo ohm to measure the total resistance of the resistor we have first connected two resistor in series then by using these two probe we put first probe at the starting end and the second probe at the end of the second resistor and we can easily get the value 108.2 ohm the total resistance of these two resistor so this is the practical application of how we measure the first resistance of the resistor 9.9 .9 kilo ohm and the second resistance of the resistor is 98.3 kilo ohm when we connected these two probe red or black probe then we get the total resistance 108.2 kilo ohm in the theoretical approach of this we get total resistance we can add R A plus R B that is 0 0.9.9 kilo ohm to 98.3 kilo ohm then we can add these two and we get 108.2 kilo ohm of resistance to connect these resistance in a parallel connection we have to put the starting of the both resistor in the same vertical line and the end of the resistor in the same vertical line we can measure the resistance of the parallel resistor in this way as i connected these two resistor in parallel connection and put these red and black probe in one of the resistor whatever the value you get it is it is the resistance of these two parallel connected resistor as you get 9 kilo ohm of the uh, uh, resistor connected in parallel this is the diagram circuit diagram of how the resistor are connected in parallel these two resistors are connected in parallel first one as we have looked earlier is 9.9 .9 kilo ohm and second one is 98.3 kilo ohm when these two resistors are connected in parallel then we can put red probe here and a black probe here and we get the total resistance approx 9 kilo ohm now how we can uh, calculate the resistance connected in parallel with the theoretical formula the theoretical formula is for resistance which is connected in parallel is 
is rt equal to product of the resistance connected in parallel divided by sum of the total resistance and we get approx value 8.99 kilo ohm which, which you have remembered that is similar to 9 kilo ohm of the resistance this is the circuit diagram to how we can measure the voltage across the resistor we have to first provide a dc voltage source 1.32 volt and we have connected the resistance of 0 0.9 0 9.9 kilo ohm of the resistance across it and we have attached first pro this is the circuit diagram to measure how we can measure the voltage across the resistor this is the voltage source and this is the resistor and these are the props by which we can measure the voltage across the resistor similar connection is here here we connected 1.32 volt of the battery series with the resistor and we have measured the voltage across the resistor first of all we have to put this probe at the voltage as the dc voltage range and then we have to connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery and the black wire at the negative terminal of the battery at the negative side of the battery and by this we can measure the voltage across that resistor and this is 1.32 ohm and 1.32 volt sorry and this is the resistance this is the resistance the value of the resistance is 0 0.09.9 kilo ohm how to measure the current in the circuit as uh, earlier the circuit we have provided 1.32 volt supply and connected a resistor with it we have to disconnect the starting end of the resistor and positive terminal the battery and we have to put red probe here and the black probe here and we have we have to measure the value of the resistance now we are going to connect the circuit and see what happens to measure the current across uh, uh, current uh, flowing in the circuit we have to first put this probe in the current range at I had put early this probe in 20 milli ampere range and by uh, we have to connect this uh, black probe at the resistance in and by disconnecting this in line we just touch the source and we see that it is showing 0 0.3 milli ampere of the current is flowing in this circuit so that was the practical approach then how we can calculate the current in the circuit with the help of voltage and resistors is given by the ohms law as we know that I is that is current is directly proportional to V upon R we know the voltage is 1.32 volt and the resistance is 0.91 kilo ohm when we when we by using this formula I equal to V upon R we can easily know the value of the current flowing in the circuit is 0.13 milliampere thank you so much for watching my videos and comment below it thank you so much